Now we've been asked by some of our customers to teach this tulip quilt uh, centerpiece as if they did not know paper piecing. So we're gonna start from the very beginning. If you don't, if you understand paper piecing, then watch our first video on this. And then if you don't know paper piecing, I'm hoping this will bring you along. Very simple concept, but very strange. I'll admit it, but I love paper piecing. So you're not going to cut each of these areas out. You're going to piece it right on the paper. And you're going to piece it in the number, in the order of the number that's on the paper pattern. So you're going to start with area one. And area one is the only fabric that is placed right side away from the paper pattern. All of your fabric is on the unprinted side and all of your sewing is done with the printed side up because that's where you can see where to sew. And the shapes are going to be shaped by the seams, not by cutting and sewing it exactly on the line. So we're going to place area one so that it's right side away so that all of area one is, is actually covered beyond its border and we'll pin it to secure it. Now, because we're adding dimension, we are going to add this center point and the dimensions are in the pattern, but it's just a square that's folded diagonal and then across so that you're, you're gonna use this point where all the edges are um, not raw. This is the raw edge here and that will be placed in the seam. Okay, here we go. So we've placed it on the fabric side and you can hold it up to the light to make sure that this point is exactly covered. Okay, right there. And then we're going to, with this side up, machine sew right where all the petals meet the seam. So um, it shows on your pattern too. And that will transfer the location to this side so that I know where those lines are. Then I'm gonna take my previously made pieces. So I just put the paper pattern on top of two pieces of fabric that are right sides together, thin polyester bonded batting. Sew on the solder line, cut on the outside dash line. Take the paper out, turn it right side out. Now if you have these little edges of batting, you can trim those so you have a nice clean edge to work with. Do the same with the little green part. Now all the raw edges are placed a quarter of an inch past that basting. Okay, pretty easy to see. You can lift, lift it up and you can see. I like to place the one side down first uh, on all the pieces so that when the whole thing's put together, it'll be uniform which side is on top. And I pin that so that it's very, very secure. Then I'm going to foundation piece the background pieces two and three. And I take my background fabric and I'm gonna place it right side down. Now remember, number one was right side up. Why? Because it doesn't move. It's placed right where it's gonna stay. Everything else is gonna be placed right side down so the bulk is opposite the area we're gonna cover and it's a quarter of an inch past that basting. You turn it over and sew that whole seam line. Trim the extra out of the seam and then it folds back and covers area two. Then I'll do the same with area three. And then I'll do the same with area four and area five. Place it, turn it over, sew it, turn the extra out, fold it back, okay? And then you're gonna have this. So all the raw edges are covered in those seams, except down here, right? So turn it over and machine sew where this green part is going to meet the seam. We've previously made it. Place it right side down, 
quarter of so the raw edges are past that basting. Then we're going to place a larger piece of background fabric and it's cut to fit this whole area six. We're going to place it right side down, quarter of an inch past the basting, turn it over, remember always sew with this printed side up, sew that whole line, trim the extra out of the seam and then this folds back and covers area six. This will fold down and the stem is added. We'll show you the stem and we'll show you how we put this together. I hope that has helped. It is a strange concept, but look how cool to have these little points. And I didn't have to cut out each piece and sew it exact. The stitching made the shapes. Isn't it awesome? I hope this has helped. Now we'll put it together and I, I hope you'll be able to be successful with this pattern. Now area six folded down and this little piece folds down and this is just a strip of fabric that's folded wrong sides together and you mark the lines, the stem, and put the raw edge across the right stem and sew a little less than a quarter of an inch then it folds over and you'll blind stitch the folded edge. This comes down. And then the rest of this pattern is described in our other video on it where you stack it with one piece of solid backing that's the color of a leaf and batting. So on the solid line, keeping this open, cut on the outside dash line, turn it right side out. This is turned under and then two pieces put together and using the pattern mark this and then it folds out. So I and then we'll do the five together and it just turns out beautiful. I hope this has helped you. If you're doing this pattern and you're not familiar with paper piecing then that really is a challenge. But I, I hope I took this a little bit slower for a little extra help for those that are starting at the beginning. It's a fun process and I love it. It's how you get these perfect little points and I didn't have to cut out each little section and add a quarter of an inch and sew it perfect. So I hope this video has helped you. We'll, we'll link it to our other video for those that need a little extra help. Thanks for watching.